Three words, neuroscience, it's fascinating, it's foundational, and it's fun. But sometimes students come up and say, I really love neuroscience, and then they say, can you tell me what it is? So it's a study of the nervous system that the very core of who we all are is, is our nervous system. It's how you know, the signals from the brain get out to the body to control movement, how the sensor information comes into the brain. But for us, an explanation is in terms of biology. So we're looking for um, biological causal mechanistic explanations of how it is that the cells of the nervous system can make all the functions and all the behaviours of the nervous system. So neuroscientists are really looking at all these complex phenomena, it might be as broad a cognition as you can think, but ultimately we know that neurons are behind that. So how is that possible? That's what neuroscientists want to do. Neuroscience at Melbourne is in the middle of such a concentrated biomedical precinct. There's so many neuroscientists working on a huge range of problems, whether it be applied problems, human disease, or whether it be fundamental issues in biology and neuroscience. And we have, I guess, one of the densest populations of neuroscientists on the planet within a short walk of where we are on the campus. One of our greatest assets is our partners of uh, research institutes, the Howard Floor Institute is literally just across the pathway from us. They're doing incredible work on all facets of neuroscience, but particularly with a focus on human disease. But there's neuroscience all over the place. We're discovering all the time that there are people in engineering or economics or somewhere else that are actually neuroscientists doing their particular aspect of where neuroscience fits in with what their research is. One of the things that's different about the neuroscience major is we've tried to make it as flexible as possible. Particularly for biomed students, they have uh, a very tight timetable. If you want to do other things like exchange, it's often quite hard to fit your major in. And we've tried to accommodate as much as we can around the major. For example, there's no specific second year prerequisite that's covered in the core material you do in second year. And we've got a, a very large range of third year options. So we hope it's an easy major to timetable. We've also got new subjects that tackle things like machine learning and how that fits into neuroscience. So we feel there's a lot of scope for students to pursue their interests. One subject that I would pick on, and it is biased because it is my subject, is our newest subject called Real and Artificial Neural Networks. And it's looking at this relationship between current AI and artificial intelligence and machine learning and how natural brains learn. And it's an exciting topic, but it's also a novel way of organising a subject. We don't have lectures or exams. It's all hands-on learning. It's all small group. And you will come away with a skill. You'll be able to program in the Python programming language, and you will come away with an artefact in that you will have made an artificial neural network. So it's a quite a niche subject, but students tend to get very deeply into it. What students uh, tend to report back about their positive experience of neuroscience is it's interesting, it's the brain. You know, no one comes away and says, oh, it was so boring about what, how the brain works. And we have a lot of knowledge in some areas of neuroscience and almost none in others. And that's really exciting for students because that's where they can see themselves being engaged and pushing those, those knowledge boundaries forward. So I think it excites them to, to, to realise that there's so much we don't know. We know a lot of our graduates go on to do further study, particularly in health-related areas. With a, a bachelor's degree majoring in neuroscience, you have acquired a vocabulary and a capacity to interact with other neuroscientists. So that allows you to use your degree as a stepping stone towards more research. In addition, a lot of our graduates go into fields that are unrelated to neuroscience, but the transferable skills that they pick up are what makes our graduates valuable contributors to any organisation.